Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to proactively keep your computer clean using Revo Uninstaller. So what this does is usually when you uninstall software there can be folders that get left behind, files, even registry keys, and over time these are going to start to clog up, clog up your computer and you don't really want that because it's going to slow you down and trying to go back in and find where these leftover registry keys or folders may be or what they are in the future can be tough. You might not know what the folder is due to the manufacturer. It might not be the same as the actual software, so you might not remember. So the best way to not have to deal with clutter is to proactively keep up on that. So today I'm going to show you how to do that with Revo Uninstaller. And this is what we've got right here. So I'm going to use this to uninstall Twitch Studio, for example. And I'll give you a heads up right now. You definitely don't want to use this for games that have other applications they run from, such as like World of Warcraft. That is through the battle.net application. So if you use this on installer, it may take files and folders and delete them that you need for your Battle.net app to work correctly. And it may cause an issue with other games. This is also a problem with Steam games. <clears throat> I noticed that when I used this to uninstall Steam games, it took a lot of the files that Steam needs to run properly. And I had to do a lot of repair work after to reinstall it basically and get Steam working again. So unless you know what you're doing in that sense, I would only recommend this for standalone pieces of software, such as Twitch Studio. <laughs> and I'll show you how it works here. So I just right click this, I want to uninstall it. Now, if you don't feel super comfortable, you can make a system restore point before the uninstall so that you can always roll back to it in case the changes do break something. And you can also create a full registry backup as well. But I've done this enough that I feel comfortable enough that if I do break something, I can repair it after. So I'm personally not gonna choose these continue and now it's going to run the built-in uninstaller so what it does is it takes the install uninstaller that comes with the application and runs that first so once that's done we can see twitch studio has successfully been uninstalled so we can close this and now we'll do a scan of anything that's left over So as we can see here, we found a bunch of registry keys that I don't need anymore that are hanging on to Twitch Studio here. So I know for a fact that I don't need these keys anymore, so I'm going to select all and I will delete them. And here we go. All the files that the uninstaller didn't take with it that I don't need any longer, but are left over hanging on my computer to clutter it up. So I will select all of these, delete, yes, and just like that, it's gone. Now you might have to do a restart after this because a lot of uninstallers do require that, but this will help you so that over time your computer won't start lagging due to being cluttered with files and registry keys that for stuff that you don't even use anymore. So hopefully that helps keep you running for a while and let me know if you have any issues and good luck.